Well, it, it, this is a, a, a question that keeps coming up when we ask, dapat na bang i-lift ang MECQ? We just heard Professor Leiko ask it kanina. We've had LGU leaders ask it in the previous days. The big question for them is, ano bang nagawa natin? During the time na nag-time out ulit tayo, did we actually increase our capacity? Dumami ba ang human resource natin? Gumaling ba ang contact tracing natin? What's your, your, what's your perspective on, on all of that, sir? Because honestly, you know, we're hearing disparate and different things. Uh, LGUs are saying, oh, we're, we're starting to build more capacity. National government is saying we're bringing in doctors and nurses from, from Cebu. But how are you feeling it on the ground? I have no good news to share. <laughs> Unfortunately, the situation remains the same and uh, it's uh, getting worse uh, as far as uh, the manpower capability of the hospitals is concerned. And uh, the, the usual uh, problem, which is uh, the payment for the services that the hospitals are providing, they're, not, they're still not being paid so, uh, very gloomy ang uh, situation sa mga hospital. Ang hospital nag-aasikaso sa mga may sakit, pero ang hospital ay may sakit na rin. Ang tawag ko dyan ay eh, personalitis at saka uh, financialitis. Hmm. May, may problema sila sa personal at saka may problema sa finances. Yeah, personalitis and financialitis. We don't have a problem with capacity. We have problem with capability. Mm. I've been always uh, saying that. Mm. Uh, the data from DOH uh, shows only the capacity. Mm. And there is no problem with the capacity. In fact, many beds, many wards are empty. But the capability is the one that is lacking. Mm. So, kayang magkarga. Ah, no, may space para magkargahan, pero walang mag-provide ng services para sa space na yan. I mean, kitang-kita po talaga yung mm. talagang o, yung overwhelmed um, yeah. hospitals, no? Ang daming tent sa labas. Parang ibang-iba po yan sa paglalarawan ninyo na napakarami ninyong mga hospital beds, tsaka yung wards nyo, empty. A ano po bang pinag-uusapan yeah. natin na hospital dito at ibang-iba yung report ninyo? Oh, kasi capacity kasi tinitignan natin. Wala nga problema sa capacity. Pag sinabi wala nang bakante, puno na ang hospital, hindi ibig sabihin na walang bed. Ibig sabihin wala nang, wala nang aasikaso. Yung mga available beds, uh, yun lang yung kayang pagservisyoan. Remember, tao rin mga nagsiservisyo, hindi naman mga robots yan. May capacity sila. Matagal na silang nagsiservisyo, pagod na sila. And the uh, nerves are really being frayed. Talagang uh, marami na mga sensitibo na rin. Talagang kunti na lang. Nag-aaway na rin yung mga doctors, mga nurses. Dahil yung mga doktor gusto ipasok yung pasyente. Hindi naman kaya ng nurse. Araw-araw, eh, patuloy na nag-re-resign. Oh. Eh, bakit po? Ay, ano, sir? Pero sir, doc, parang iba eh. Kasi last night, we were talking to Yorme. And uh, and, and everybody, most everybody that we talk to uh, say that uh, what's needed are more facilities. And, and in fact, mm. the reason why the MECQ and the ECQ was imposed was to give the government or the LGUs time to build that capacity. Ano. So if they're building more uh, COVID centers or quarantine facilities, uh, why are we building more capacity if the problem is capability? Kasi wala namang nagtatanong sa mga nurses. Hindi naman pinupuntahan yung mga hospital at tignan talaga ng nangyayari sa loob. Sila ba may, may support na nurses? Ano bang nangyayari? Ilan yung, nag, ilan yung nag-resign? Ilan yung nag-abroad? Ilan yung natanggap nilang bago? So ka, ka, sa, kausap ko lang kanina yung isang hospital sa Patangas na malaki. 15 yung nag-resign, Ap apat lang yung natanggap na bago. So, patuloy yan, nadidrain na nadidrain, nagmamigrate yung mga nurses. Hindi naman natin sila ma-blame.